Today we're in the Cotswolds, a little place called Windrush. We're going to walk from Windrush up to Sherburn and make it around and take in the two Barringtons as we go. We'll see you at our car park. So we're parked at the side of the road, free parking. We head forward, passing the telephone box on our left hand side through the village, keeping to the left hand side of the church. As we pass through the village, let's give you a quick shot of one or two houses. That's to the right hand side of the church. There's two houses there just in front of the church on our left as we head forward and again on our left hand side that's a plaque on the wall of the churchyard as we walk by so we head forward past the old forge and the letterbox on our left and there's the old forge beautiful just past the forge we come to our first footpath sign we turn right there but just before we do that's just looking further down the village so we head forward now keeping to the left hand side of the telegraph pole just got a couple of horse riders on the road yeah, we've been dodging cyclists for the last 10 minutes yeah and now we've got a couple of horse riders so we just keep heading forwards we're just hoping the cloud lifts because it's very warm but just a bit cloudy as we've headed forward that kestrel flew up and he's just landed on the wire about 150 feet in front of us he's gone but there's the view in fact you can't see the wires because we've pulled away but uh, they're there baby lamb there well say baby probably three month old but it's a herdwick is that but uh, which is surprising to see him down in the Cotswolds but here we are just at side of us 10 feet away keep going we cross over a stile and just keep heading forwards with the hedge on our left you're walking with a taxi driver today in the Cotswolds starting our walk from a place called Windrush as we head forward across the field that's a view to our left when you cross into the next field you bear slightly right head forward through the gate within 50 yards we're at the road we turn right there heading towards the green we're at the green now turn in left for a short way in front you've got an old water pump there look we walk across the front of a row of old terraced houses and again we just keep heading forwards we're looking at the other side now at some cottages the sun's come out we've just been talking to a lady there whose cottage we've been filming and she said it was built in the 1600s and this is just looking at the other side of the village what a beautiful place and this is Barrington is this we're going to cross over the road and walk up the track between the two buildings at the end of the buildings we just keep heading forwards within five minutes we come out at some buildings but we turn left there over the bridge following the Dalton way before we cross the bridge that's looking left from the village we've just left just as we're going to cross the bridge the swans come to see us look at that 
He's about 10 foot away. God, this is brilliant. Middle of no this is brilliant. Middle of nowhere. Swans there, look. Unbelievable. He's had enough now. So we head forward, following the fence. We're bearing off to our right now. Just below we've got the stream. We think that possibly was the mill, but you know, we don't know, but it's beautiful. We cross over the tiny stream now. Yeah, and just down below on the second bridge, we've got the dried up mill race. So that was the mill. These are new walks, so we don't always know what we're doing, but that wasn't a bad guess. That is the mill, if that's a mill race. And that's half the fun. Within a minute, we come to a third bridge. Look at that on our left hand side. They've got the garages on the right and then the little stream goes under the bridge so they can walk to the house, which obviously was the mill. What a place, fabulous. We still stood on the bridge, turning left and we'll be walking up between them two thick hedges there. So we're heading up towards the village now. We're at the road now. Heading forwards, we head forward to the road at the other side of the memorial. By the side of the deer park on our left hand side. At the end of the park we turn left through the gate, walking up the track. We just keep following the track, the sun's out, we think this would be a good place for a cup of tea. We've got a, a great view in front of us. There's the view. What do you think of a cup of tea, Janice, just here? Yeah, well, sun's out, I was just thinking. Why not? Heard of cows just a, just a side of the track. Look at flies, though. You can see the flies, the irritating cows. They're about, I don't know, 15 feet away. Very curious. Just looking over to see what we're doing. Look at that, shaking flies off there, look. Well, I think we'll leave that for now. It's cloudy, but it's a warm, muggy day, it is. Sun keeps breaking out, but disappearing. Yeah, when it's cloudy, it makes the long distance shots not quite so good, but we just keep heading forward, downhill and up the other side. That's a quick shot to our left, to our right. We just keep heading forward until we get to the T-junction. We turn left there, heading towards the trees, looking at the deer prints every now and again. We just keep following the path, ignoring anything else that goes off. We're heading downhill now towards the river just a bit of breeze on and it's cloudy but it's warm we keep going when the track starts to bend off to your left we keep heading straight forward into the woods with the blue arrow we cross over the river as we cross over the river we're in the National Trust Sherborne Estate. We just keep heading forwards a couple hundred yards till we get to the tiny gate. We turn right there and then immediate left. So we walk forward up the track with the hedge on our left hand side till you come to the wood. We turn left there 
So we walk forward with the wood on our right hand side. Well that tree must have fallen 20 or 30 years ago, there's no bark at all and it's all sort of cracking up. Even the big piece that's stuck up, there's a big crack at the back. A good storm on that, that'll be over. We keep going. We head forward through the wood for a short way. We can see a gate and a field at the other side. We're into the next field now turning right towards the footpath signs where them two people are going. So we're going through the gate now and over the bridge. We leave the track and go through the gate. We're heading towards Sherburn now. It looks like somebody's got a parcel delivery. Oh yes, here we are. Yes, there we are, delivering parcels. That's just the house at the side of the gate where we're going through. We're going through the gate, head forward up the concrete road for 50 yards and then turn left through the gate. So as we cross over the field and go through the gate and up the other side, we're not that far off Windrush now. We just keep heading forwards. We go through the gate and we bear slightly right. We just keep heading forward towards the gate at the other side. If we look to the left hand side of the hut, we've got the river Windrush there, look. That's looking left as we head up towards the track. As we cross over the track, we see there's two paths in front of us. We take the one on the right hand side, the stile. Yeah, both paths are separated by a fence. We just keep heading straight forwards. The wall bears round to your right. Within a minute you see another stile straight over and that'll take us down to our car or near our car. We hope you've enjoyed our walk in the Cotswolds from Windrush up to Sherburn Round. You've been walking with the taxi driver today.